Simplifying Fractions Consider this word problem. Michael cut a pizza into eight slices and ate two of them. What fraction of the pizza did Michael eat? Well, I see that the pizza was cut into eight slices and that two are missing. So Michael ate two out of eight or two eighths of the pizza. Okay, let's look at the answer choices. One third, one fourth, six eighths, or three sixths? Huh? Where's two eighths? The answer is two eighths, but it isn't an answer choice. Hmm, let's look at this pizza a different way. The same amount of pizza, but now I can see that it was cut into four slices and Michael ate one of them. Two eighths equals or is equivalent to one fourth. Writing a fraction in simplest form means finding an equivalent fraction with the smallest possible numerator and denominator. How do you simplify a fraction? To simplify or reduce a fraction, you have to divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor, the GCF. So what's the greatest common factor? It's the largest number that you can divide both the numerator and denominator by evenly. Remember that factors are all the numbers you can divide a number by evenly. So let's look at 2 eighths. We're going to try to simplify 2 eighths by dividing 2 and 8 by their greatest common factor. So first, we need to find the factors of 2 and 8. We can set up factor T charts to find all the factors of 2 and 8. So when I'm using a factor T chart, I always start at 1. And 1 is a factor of every number. So for 2, I'm going to have 1 and 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And that's it for 2. 2 is a prime number. It only has one factor pair. Now let's think about 8. Of course, I have 1 and 8. 1 times 8 is 8, so they're both factors of 8. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times, no, 3 isn't a factor of 8, and I already have 4. So there we go. I have all the factors of 2 and all the factors of 8. Which factors do they have in common? Well, they both have 1, and they both have 2. So which one is the greatest common factor, meaning the biggest factor? That would be 2. 2 is larger than 1. Now we divide by the greatest common factor. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now we can see that 2 eighths is equivalent to 1 fourth. Let's look at 6 tenths this time. So to simplify or reduce this fraction, we're going to divide by the greatest common factor. So let's look at the factors. What are all the factors of 6, and what are all the factors of 10? All right, let's do 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Those are factors. 2 times 3 is 6. Those are all the factors of 6. 1 times 10 is 10. And 2 times 5 is 10. Those are all the factors of 10. All right, now let's look at the common factors. They both have 1. They both have 2. And that's all they have in common. Which one is the greatest common factor, the biggest, that they both have on their T-chart? It's 2. 2 is the GCF, the greatest common factor. Okay, now we can simplify. We'll just divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. 6 tenths in simplest form is 3 fifths. Let's do another, 8 twelfths this time. We'll set up factor T charts for both numbers, 8 and 12. Let's look at the factors of 8. 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. That's it. Okay, for 12, we have 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Now let's look at which factors they have in common. They both have 1, they both have 2, and they both have 4. Which of these is the greatest, 1, 2, or 4? It's 4. 4 is the greatest common factor. So let's divide 8 by 4 and 12 by 4 to get our fraction in simplest form. 8 twelfths reduces down to 2 thirds. Just remember, 
Simplest form means an equivalent fraction with the smallest possible numerator and denominator. To write a fraction in simplest form, divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.